Diabetic retinopathy is a common complication of diabetes which affects the eyesight of patients with both type 1 and type 2 diabetes. More specifically, diabetic retinopathy affects the small blood vessels at the back of the eye, in a layer known as the retina. With the global prevalence of diabetes increasing rapidly, the number of diabetic complications is also on the rise. Of the 415 million people worldwide living with diabetes, it is expected that one-third of those will be affected by diabetic retinopathy during their lifetime. Today, more than 93 million people suffer from a diabetic eye condition, with diabetic retinopathy being the leading cause of blindness among the working age population. Diabetic retinopathy occurs as a result of poor blood glucose control. The longer you have diabetes, the higher the risk of developing diabetic retinopathy. During uncontrolled diabetes, retinal blood vessels become inflamed and damaged. Therefore, strict blood glucose management is very important for eye health in patients with diabetes. Other significant risk factors include high blood pressure or hypertension, elevated cholesterol, smoking and ethnicity. People with diabetic retinopathy may not experience any symptoms in its initial stage. It is extremely important, if you have diabetes, even if you do not have any visual impairment, to visit your eye doctor for a simple eye exam before serious damage to the retina occurs. Early detection and timely diagnosis is critical, as prompt treatment can stop or delay vision loss. Diabetic macular edema, or DME, is the most common cause of vision loss in diabetic retinopathy patients and can occur at any stage during diabetic retinopathy progression. The macula is a highly sensitive area of the retina responsible for central and color vision. During DME, blood or fluid leaks into the macula, which leads to swelling and thickening of the retina. The first stage of diabetic retinopathy is known as non-proliferative diabetic retinopathy. As previously mentioned, at the early stage, there are no obvious symptoms of eye damage. However, the walls of the small blood vessels in the retina, called retinal capillaries, may have already begun to weaken and change shape. Microaneurysms, or small bulges in the blood vessel walls may also form leading to leakage of blood or fluid from the tiny retinal capillaries. As diabetic retinopathy progresses to the advanced stage, known as proliferative diabetic retinopathy, PDR, blood vessels become blocked and new blood vessel growth occurs in order to replenish oxygen delivery to the retina of the eye. However, these newly formed vessels are abnormal, fragile, and are liable to bleed into the vitreous in front of the retina. This is known as a vitreous hemorrhage, which can cause sudden and profound vision loss. Further growth of new abnormal blood vessels can lead to the generation of scar tissue, leading to retinal detachment and even glaucoma, or high pressure in the eye, during the advancing stage of retinopathy. It is important to have your eyes regularly checked and monitored by an eye doctor, as loss of vision can occur at any stage of diabetic retinopathy progression, despite a lack of symptoms. Typically, by the time patients experience symptoms, retinopathy may have advanced and can present as blurred vision, floaters, and partial or significant visual loss, depending on the stage of diabetic retinopathy. In any case of diabetic retinopathy, patients are advised to maintain a strict control of blood glucose levels and be continuously monitored by their eye doctor. However, treatment for diabetic retinopathy will also depend on the cause of vision loss to the patient. If loss of vision is due to diabetic macular edema, DME, the most effective treatment is anti-VEGF therapy. VEGF is the growth factor responsible for the growth of abnormal blood vessels as well as the breakdown of the retinal capillary walls leading to DME. Therefore, anti-VEGF treatment blocks the action of VEGF and can restore vision by preventing leakage occurring in damaged retinal capillaries. If loss of vision is due to proliferative diabetic retinopathy, PDR, 
patients are typically treated with laser therapy called photocoagulation. Laser photocoagulation stops new blood vessel growth and prevents further fragile blood vessels from bleeding into the eye. Because VEGF is also involved in growth of new blood vessels, anti-VEGF therapy may also be an effective treatment. However, laser treatment is still the preferred option at this stage. While treatments can be effective in preventing blindness from diabetic retinopathy, it is important to visit your eye doctor or attend an eye screening soon after diagnosis of diabetes. Regular eye examination should be maintained each year to monitor the condition of your eyes. Also, if you are pregnant and have diabetes, it is important to have regular eye exams during pregnancy as accelerated progression of diabetic retinopathy may occur and eye doctor visits may be required more frequently. It has been proven that tight control of your blood glucose levels, cholesterol and blood pressure can prevent the occurrence of diabetic retinopathy, as well as halt or delay the progression of retinopathy after onset. Therefore, strict glucose control with diabetes medication, in addition to physical activity, a healthy diet and cessation of smoking are key measures when managing your diabetes and eye health.